Welcome, seekers of wisdom. Today we delve into the realm of twin flames, an intriguing and often misunderstood spiritual concept. In our quest for self-understanding and spiritual growth, we often encounter concepts that resonate deeply within us. One such concept is that of twin flames. Now what is a twin flame, you may wonder? Picture two souls, not just any souls, but two parts of the same soul originating from the same divine source. These souls, over the course of many lifetimes, are drawn together in a quest for wholeness. And it's this journey that we refer to as the twin flame journey. Twin flames share an intense connection, a bond that transcends time and space. It's as if a magnetic pull draws them towards each other. This connection is not merely physical or emotional, but profoundly spiritual. It is a bond that can trigger deep personal growth and transformation as each twin flame mirrors the other, reflecting both their strengths and weaknesses. Now the twin flame journey is not always smooth. It is characterized by periods of union and separation, joy and pain, growth and stagnation. But through it all, the bond between the twin flames remains, a beacon of light guiding them on their spiritual journey. Understanding the concept of twin flames can open up new perspectives on relationships, personal growth, and spirituality. It can offer insights into the deeper workings of the soul and provide a framework for understanding some of the more complex dynamics of human connection. This is just the tip of the iceberg, though. The world of twin flames is rich and complex, filled with fascinating dynamics and profound insights. To fully appreciate its depth and beauty, one must embark on a journey of exploration and discovery. And that's where we come in. We're here to guide you on this journey, to help you navigate the intricacies of the twin flame concept and to provide you with the tools and knowledge you need to make sense of your own experiences. As we journey further, remember, your support means the world to us. Subscribe and join us in this exploration of the soul. In the dance of twin flames, there often emerges a runner and a chaser. Let's delve deeper into this phenomenon. Imagine a cosmic ballet where two souls, two twin flames, are engaged in a dance. But this dance, instead of being harmonious, often takes on a dynamic of pursuit and retreat. This is what we call the runner-chaser dynamic. Now, it's essential to understand that the runner-chaser dynamic is not about one twin flame being the bad guy and the other being the victim. No, it's more intricate than that. It's a dance driven by fear and insecurities. Often, one twin flame, the runner, is so overwhelmed by the intensity of this spiritual connection that they retreat. They run. It's not that they don't love their twin flame. On the contrary, the love is so profound, so intense, that it stirs deep-seated fears and insecurities within them. They might fear the loss of their individuality, the vulnerability that comes with such intense love, or the potential pain of heartbreak. So they distance themselves. They build walls. They might even try to sabotage the connection. On the other side of this dynamic is the chaser. The chaser feels the runner's retreat as a deep rejection. It triggers their own fears and insecurities. They might fear abandonment, not being loved, or not being enough. So they pursue. They chase. They try to close the gap that the runner is trying to widen. The chaser's pursuit often triggers the runner's fears even more, causing them to retreat further. It becomes a cycle, a dance of push and pull, love and fear. But remember, this dance is not a punishment. It's a journey of growth, healing, and ultimately, union. It's about facing and overcoming fears, healing insecurities, and learning unconditional love. The runner-chaser dynamic is a complex dance of love and fear, pulling away and chasing after. What is it that the twin flame runner fears the most? Let's uncover this mystery. In the dance of twin flames, the runner's role is often misunderstood. They're not just running for the sake of it. They're fleeing from fears that feel too enormous to face. Let's dive deeper into the ocean of these fears. One of the most profound fears the runner experiences is the fear of vulnerability. Wearing our hearts on our sleeves and bearing our souls to another person can be incredibly daunting. The runner, in their attempt to safeguard their emotions, may perceive this vulnerability as a threat. It's like standing on the edge of a precipice, 
looking down at an abyss of emotions that they are too afraid to plunge into. Then there's the fear of losing their identity. When two flames unite, they merge into one. For the runner, this can be a terrifying prospect. They may feel as though they're about to lose themselves in the process, that they'll be swallowed up by this intense connection and cease to exist as an individual. The fear of losing one's identity can be so overwhelming that the runner may choose to bolt rather than face the prospect of this perceived loss. The intensity of the twin flame connection can also be a source of fear for the runner. This connection is like nothing they've ever experienced before. It's a bond that transcends the physical, ventures into the spiritual, and touches the very core of their being. It's a connection so powerful that it can feel like a raging inferno. For the runner, this intensity can feel threatening like a wildfire that could consume them if they let it get too close. These fears can lead the runner into a behavior of avoidance. They run, not because they want to, but because they're trying to protect themselves. They're trying to shield themselves from the vulnerability, from the loss of identity, from the intensity of the connection. But it's important to realize that these fears are often deeply ingrained, stemming from past traumas and insecurities. The runner may have built up walls around their heart due to past hurts, making the prospect of opening up to someone else seem perilous. They may have struggled with their sense of self in the past, leading to a fear of losing their identity. They may have been overwhelmed by intense emotions before, causing them to fear the intensity of the twin flame connection. Understanding these fears is crucial in comprehending the runner's actions. They're not running because they're cruel or unfeeling. They're running because they're scared. They're running from fears that feel too immense to confront. But remember, fear is not the end of the story. It's merely a chapter in the book of the twin flame journey. By acknowledging these fears, the runner can begin to face them, to work through them, and ultimately, to overcome them. The runner's fears are deeply ingrained, often stemming from past traumas and insecurities. Overcoming fear is no small feat. Yet, for the twin flame runner, it is a necessary journey towards spiritual growth. Fear, after all, is not a roadblock, but merely a sign that you're moving closer to something that holds great meaning for you. Firstly, let's delve into self-reflection. It's only when we turn our gaze inward that we begin to understand the nature of our fears. The runner is often afraid of the intensity of the twin flame connection, the profound sense of vulnerability it brings. By digging deep within and asking oneself, what am I truly afraid of? The runner can start to see the root of their fear, is it a fear of loss, of rejection, or perhaps a fear of the unknown? Whatever it is, acknowledging it is the first step towards overcoming it. Next, let's address the healing of past traumas. Often our fears are deeply rooted in past experiences that have left scars on our souls. This could be a painful relationship, a loss, or a rejection that has made us afraid to open up and trust again. For the runner, Healing these past traumas is crucial. This could be done through various ways such as therapy, meditation, or spiritual practices that promote healing and forgiveness. Remember, it's okay to seek help and take time to heal. You're not alone on this journey. Now, on to embracing vulnerability. Yes, vulnerability can be terrifying. It's like standing on the edge of a cliff, knowing that you could fall at any moment. But it's also where real connection happens. It's where we let down our guards and allow ourselves to be seen, truly seen, by another. For the twin flame runner, embracing vulnerability means accepting the intense connection they share with their twin flame. It means letting go of control and allowing themselves to be swept up in the current of love, trust, and mutual understanding. Lastly, it's important to remember that overcoming fear is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It's about making the choice to face your fears, not just once, but every single day. It's about believing in your ability to grow, to change, and to overcome. So to all the twin flame runners out there, know this. Fear is not your enemy. It's a teacher, a guide, pointing you towards the areas in your life that need your attention and care. 
Face it, embrace it, and learn from it. And in doing so, you'll find that what you were running from was not the fear itself, but the person you have the potential to become. The path to overcoming fear is long and winding, yet filled with opportunities for growth and self-discovery. And remember, at the end of this road, awaits a connection like no other, a connection that's worth every step of this journey. The chaser, though often left in pain and confusion, plays a crucial role in the runner's journey towards overcoming their fears. The chaser's role is a complex one, woven with threads of unconditional love, understanding, and patience. It is not a role for the faint-hearted, as it calls for an unwavering commitment to the journey of the twin flame connection, a journey that is fraught with challenges and trials. The chaser is the beacon of light in the runner's storm of fear, guiding them towards a safe harbor. They provide the runner with a safe space to confront their fears, to face them, and ultimately, to overcome them. The chaser's unconditional love serves as a balm to the runner's wounds, offering comfort and healing. However, the chaser's role is not just about providing support and love to the runner. It is equally about their own self-growth and self-discovery. It's a paradox, really. While the chaser is helping the runner navigate through their fears, they are also embarking on a journey of their own self-growth. They are learning to love unconditionally, to remain patient in the face of adversity, to understand another soul at a profound level. The chaser's journey is not one of sacrifice, but rather one of growth. They must realize that they cannot force the runner to face their fears. Instead, they can only provide a safe space, a nurturing environment, and the reassurance that they are there, waiting when the runner is ready to confront their fears. The chaser's role is not a passive one. It's about actively loving, actively understanding, and actively demonstrating patience. It's about the conscious choice to stay, to wait, and to love, even when the runner is lost in their fears. And so, in this dance of twin flames, the chaser's role is a pivotal one. They are the catalyst that propels the runner towards their journey of self-discovery and overcoming their fears. In this dance of twin flames, both the runner and the chaser have their unique roles to play. As we conclude our exploration of the twin flame runner's fears, let's reflect on what we've learned. We started our journey by delving into the profound concept of twin flames, a connection that's more than just a romantic relationship, but a spiritual bond that transcends physicality. We discovered that twin flames are two halves of the same soul, split into two separate bodies, destined to meet and grow together. This meeting, as we learned, is not always an easy one. It's a union that requires inner work, self-discovery, and a journey towards higher consciousness. We then ventured into the intriguing dynamic that often plays out between twin flames, the runner and chaser. The runner, as we discovered, is the twin flame who tries to escape the intense connection, often out of fear, while the chaser pursues, longing for union and harmony. But the chase, as we've learned, is not a pursuit of the other, but rather a pursuit of self-growth and understanding. We've explored the depths of the runner's fears, understanding that they run not from their twin flame, but from their own unresolved issues, insecurities, and past traumas. The fear of vulnerability, of losing their independence, of facing their deepest shadows, these are the specters that haunt them. But as we've learned, these fears are not insurmountable. We've also discovered the path to overcoming these fears. The journey inward, where the runner can confront their fears, heal their wounds, and embrace their vulnerabilities. It's a journey of self-love, self-acceptance, and self-growth, which ultimately leads to the realization that running is not an escape, but a detour from their destiny. But what of the chaser? We've learned that their role is not merely to pursue, but to support, to hold space for the runner, to be patient, understanding, and compassionate and importantly, to focus on their own journey of self-growth, for the chaser too has lessons to learn, wounds to heal, and shadows to face. As we wrap up, remember that the twin flame journey is a mirror of our own spiritual path. Each twin flame, whether runner or chaser, reflects our deepest fears and our greatest potential. They show us where we need to grow, where we need to heal, and where we need to love, 
not just them, but ourselves. This journey, as intense and challenging as it may be, is a beautiful dance of souls, a dance of love, growth, and spiritual awakening. It's a dance that requires patience, understanding, and compassion, not just for our twin flame, but for ourselves. Remember, the journey of twin flames is a journey of love, self-discovery, and spiritual growth. Until next time, seekers of wisdom,